This month, America celebrates its 244th birthday, Independence Day as we call it. Yet, as a country, we seem further from peace than ever before. It's almost as if the enemy is pounding a war drum of hate over America right now. As a patriot, as a disciple, and as a worship leader, my heart breaks, and I know you feel it too. I daily fight the urge of lending an angry voice to the political divisiveness that leads to hate. But the Bible gives us a different way. Through our worship, we can affect change at the highest level. In 1 Timothy 2, Paul is giving instruction about worship, and this is how he starts out. I urge you, first of all, to pray for all people. Ask God to help them, intercede on their behalf, and give thanks for them. Pray this way for kings and all who have authority, so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives marked by godliness and dignity. Part of our worship should be to pray for and on behalf of our leaders, even if we consider them enemies, and even more so if we consider them godless. Why? Just imagine with me for a second. What if God got a hold of the hearts of these politicians? If these people not only encountered Jesus, but let the Holy Spirit guide their decisions. If they were to have a new heart for the things of God. Remember, the Bible says that we wrestle not with flesh and blood. So today, let's take a different approach. For the wicked leaders, let's fast and pray for a godly encounter. For the ungrateful citizens, let's offer thanksgiving on their behalf. For a country that's broken, let us intercede. And for those in power, remember we pray to the God who is all-powerful. And let our lives, Facebook pages, and conversations be marked by godliness and dignity. In verse 3, Paul tells us why this kind of lifestyle of worship is important. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. For there is only one God and one mediator who can reconcile God and humanity, the man Christ Jesus. He gave his life to purchase freedom for everyone. This is the message God gave to the world at just the right time.